Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I'm going to talk to you about several different kinds of trellises that you can build inexpensively for your cucumbers, for uh, zucchini and squash, really, I grow some of them vertically, uh, melons, anything that vines that you can grow upward to save some space. Now right here is basically my warm weather garden. I start things in cups because right now I have the cool weather crops in my garden and they're all going to be coming out over the next week. But I started these on 528. Today is June 5th and you can see that they're sprouting nicely. By doing this, I'm going to gain about two weeks of the season on these warm weather crops because I'm going to just transplant these right into uh, spaces as my cool weather crops come out. Let me show you the different trellises I'm using and you can adapt them for your own needs. Now this is a simple trellis set up for my climbing pole beans and these are just six foot poles uh, pressure treated that you can buy at Home Depot and they're about $1.99 each. I just sink them in the ground distance apart just like that and then I raise them all the way up, tie them off like a teepee and that will be a perfect support for your climbing um, beans, um, even your cucumbers. And then in between you just take some twine and tie it through and let the pole beans, I will actually just climb right up the pole and they will twist around just like these are. But your cucumbers may need more of the twine going across. But this is a simple and inexpensive way to really grow vertically and grow your crops six feet tall. Now you can use this setup for cucumbers and zucchini. This is a four ring tomato cage. So this is, um, I don't know, maybe three or four foot tall. In here uh, will go actually a squash, uh, zucchini. I like to grow them vertically because they're a lot easier to manage for disease and pest. And I've done a video on this last year and I will show you, you know, what this looks like when it's planted. But this is a setup that you can use to grow a cucumber, um, a zucchini or squash plant right up this and you'll be able to really reach in and get the undersides of the leaves, look for pests and really just manage your plant better. And like I said, my garden is just getting ready for the warm weather crops. That's why I've started them in cups, but over this week I'm going to really get the ground ready. Here's another uh, teepee tub style of a six foot um, poles that you can buy again at Home Depot's or low and you just tie it off at the top that gives them plenty of support and this is going to be for my cucumbers and I will put a lot of twine down there and just crisscross it all the way up and again there is another cage for Let yet me show another you the squash. lemon cucumber first. This plant is growing in my sunken container. It is a single lemon cucumber plant and it's been growing about 60 days or so maybe a little bit longer. One plant, I actually have it growing up a cage and then onto stakes and I grow it vertically. It's a massive plant so it's a great way to really manage it using stakes and a trellis and just bringing it up. It's well over eight feet tall. I have to move it across string. It's just doing really, really now, this well. This is a trellis made out of chicken wire. That chicken wire is 10 feet. It costs about $10 and uh, maybe a little bit less and you just bend it right down the middle and then those poles that are running down the side are actually metal uh, covered in plastic and they'll run you maybe two bucks each. Now it's a little more expensive than the other ones but this is solid and this design is basically a triangle and what will happen is, is your fruit will hang right down inside of that triangle and you can pick it uh, very easily. You can also get in there for sprays, disease management, pest management and it's perfect for cucumbers, for melons and it's really, really solid. This is not going to move, come out of the ground, or break. And again, trellises give you a lot more um, growing room because you can grow vertically rather than having the vines crawl across the ground where they can be more susceptible to uh, bugs coming in and more susceptible to diseases because they're along the ground. They're picking up what may be in the dirt. Um, there's more moisture down there. And just growing them upwards really makes the plant a little bit cleaner and easier to manage. But look at the massive size of this plant. Like there's squash coming down right in there. There's one in there. And it's growing up a cage, up a post, and it's doing really, really this well. This is chicken wire just tied on there with some twine. Two of those six foot posts again that are about $1.99 tied off at the top. And this is perfect for beans and for uh, cucumbers. Just let it grow straight up. You'll be able to harvest from both sides. You'll be able to manage again the pests and disease from both sides. This won't be sprawling all over the ground. You basically get six, seven feet of vertical growth um, for your vine plants using simple trellises. Again, very, very inexpensive. Green beans are delicious. I think red yard beans are even better. I have three or four plants growing down here at the base and you can see 
the purple beans. They're very sweet, very tender, have a little bit of an earthy flavor to them. This is probably the third round. So once they start producing, they're really, really prolific. And these will get nine, 12 feet tall, going up a trellis with some chicken wire on there. Here's another example of the setup I just showed you. And just weave the twine through the three posts. And this is perfect for your cucumbers and for your green beans. Over on this side, I have a setup. These uh, cages right here are for my tomatoes, but during the cool season, and we're coming to the end of it, I just used them to grow peas. And you can see all the peas that have to be harvested off there. So you can repurpose your tomato cages for growing peas. And again, peas are crawling up all over here. This is one of those larger cages, and it did perfectly well for these purple potted peas. Let's move over to the back there, and this is really my trellis garden back here. Now let me just walk you over to it. That's purple kohlrabi right there, some scarlet kale, parsley, asparagus. So these are shelving units that I bought at Home Depot, and I did a video on how to actually construct these, and I'll link that to this video. I don't remember how much these were. I want to say somewhere between $9 and $12, but they're six foot tall. They're extremely sturdy. I think I'm in my third or fourth year. The coating on here, the vinyl coating, uh, has prevented them from rusting, and they're just secured with three stakes, and they're tied to that. But in this four foot by four foot space, I have three of these racks set up. Again, I'm on my third season, so the cost really gets divided out over you know, years because these are going to last. But look at all the vertical growth that I'm going to be able to get for beans, for cucumbers. These will work for light melons. If you're growing melons, you may have to support them, you know, to the trellis when they're maturing. But instead of having, you know, one or two vines crawling around down here, I can grow them vertically. This is, again, the simple setup of just two six-foot stakes with some chicken wire tied on there. And the whole trick is really, so make sure you leave enough space because I can come around here tend to the plants on this side, but again, I'll be able to spray for pests, for disease, I'll be able to take care of the plants, easy harvesting, more light will get to the plant, they're not going to be growing down in the dirt where it's more humid, where they may pick up more disease, or they may be vulnerable to pests. So these are some things that you can adapt for trellising, and I wanted to show it now before anything was really growing, so you have some ideas of what you might do in your garden. And I will certainly give you updates on the trellises and, and show you uh, the cucumbers, the melons, the beans all growing up there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my garden and seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com. Thanks.